So what's this? Another bonus video? Yeah, something simple. Mm. Nothing elaborate. I figured I'd ink up one of the pop-up ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah. Just a quick sketch. Love it. So just a bonus video for the heck of it. Yeah. Well, kind of. I have my reasons. I know you do. I know you know. Reason one. Mm -hmm. Last week, we did that bonus video with Ichabod Crane. Yes. Which, yeah, uh, was the perfect character for the month of October. Right. But that video was also... Uh, to be fair, mostly an announcement about starting our Patreon. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, not that I feel guilty about that. Uh huh. Some very nice patrons joined up. Yes. And you know I rarely feel guilty about anything anyway. Uh, <laughs> that root beer you were saving. Yeah. Had that for breakfast. <laughs> Seriously? It was delicious. But I did feel... Really? Like maybe dropping a video that was just for the sake of the art and the character and the process would be a nice idea. I was really looking forward to that root beer. Yeah, I know. But there are other reasons I made this video. Yeah. First, as I mentioned, it's October, and you want to do something spooky if you can. Oh, yeah. So that's why this is a video about a ghost. Right, of course. Uh, second, I note, and you may well note, that uh -huh. during the month of October, an awful lot of people start inking things. Right. Some on a daily basis. Yeah. And start slapping them up on the internet. Yep, inking is big in October. Right. So that's why this is a video about inking. Mm -hmm. now, it's just a one-off. This year I'm not doing the daily ink thing, but okay. lots of people are. And some people do this every October. Every single October. Dave Pryor does his bear illustrations every mm -hmm. October. Mm -hmm. He calls it Inktober. Inktober, mm -hmm. yeah. And they're really amazing little drawings. Oh, yeah. Ink and wash, I think. Right. Steve Lewis, too. Oh, yeah. He does a short comic every day in October. Yeah, he's doing, I think it's called Comictober. Yeah. With his murder cake comic. Oh, yeah. And they're solid three or four panel gags so far. Right. I don't know if he's doing one every single day. Yes. But he's cranking them out at breakneck speed. Right. It's impressive. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Rob Momart's uh -huh. uh, also doing Draw Halloween. Oh, right. Yeah. And I've always enjoyed his inking. Oh, me too. His work this year is top notch as usual. Mm hmm. I usually see all this stuff on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter, so I will okay. try to link to this stuff in the info. There's a lot of different October challenges this year. Yeah, there are. You've done this before. You, yeah. You did a couple a couple years, you did different versions of the Haunted Mansion ghost. Right. Always fun. Mm -hmm. Which brings us back to the old pop-up ghost I'm working on today. Yes. This particular ghost. Yeah. Where Do you remember where exactly in the mansion he pops up? You know up? what? That is a good question. <laughs> yeah. I double-checked to make sure I remembered correctly. Okay. And I think he pops up in the cemetery. Okay. Near the end. Where those ghosts are having tea near the hearse with the busted wheel. Oh, yeah. There's one crypt right around there with an arm extending from it holding a teacup. Oh, yeah, and yeah. right in front of that is a headstone. And I think this is the ghost that pops up from behind that headstone. Okay, so you're brushing in some ink wash. Yes. And I see that, oh, we have patrons to thank. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, there's a few patrons. And certain tiers include the perk of having their name in the videos. Is there, oh, so just the one so far? Yeah, just the one in that tier. Can this go any faster? Uh, no, just the one speed. Wow, this is excruciating. This is what success looks like. All right, I'm calling it. <laughs> you got to be finished by now. Let's take a look. All right. So there's the pop-up. Oh, wait, wait, I just remembered. Yeah? I wanted to add color to this thing. Oh, nice. Watercolor? Yeah, just a light watercolor in that uh, haunted mansion blue. Ooh, yeah. Just on the ghost. Okay. And it gives it that eerie, ghostly, cadaverous pallor. Ooh. Looks great over the ink wash. Yeah, I, I toyed with the idea of adding a second color. Okay. Uh, but, you know, then I'd probably have just kept going until it was fully colored, and I didn't right. want to do that. I just want that little hint of color. I like it. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. And there's the pop-up. Oh, wait, up go one more thing. All right. I thought adding some nearby tombstones, uh -huh. just silhouettes in the background, you know, in the mist. Okay. I thought that that would add to the story, you mm -hmm. know, kind of add to that sense of foreboding. Yeah, this was a good addition. Yeah. It makes you feel like you're in the graveyard. That's what I thought. Maybe walking around and you come upon the ghost. Yeah, you come up on this ghost. He's mm -hmm. sitting on his tombstone. Yeah. I thought that it may, took it from being just a pinup to more of a, an illustration, a little story. Nice. I, I think it finishes the piece. Finishes? Yeah. Is that it now? Yeah. Are you done? Mm, yeah. Okay, then. 
there's and here the is my pop-up <laughs> ghost, <laughs> all inked and colored and ready to give you the willies this Halloween. I like them. Yeah, I mean, I think, as usual, I see mm-hmm. things that maybe I'd handle differently the next time. But uh, in general, yeah, he fulfills the standard inky spooky requirements of October. Right. And I'm generally happy with him. Good. Yeah. Oh, what? I know what I should have added in the graveyard. What? The ghost of that root beer that I killed oh, earlier. That's <laughs> <you're getting> it. 